Ellis Park rises to its feet to welcome the Springboks. This time last year, it was the All Blacks who emerged victorious on this ground by 38 points to 27 in a test match described as one of the best of all time. To the All Blacks in 2014, I, you know, I think it, we were Springboks were struggling for a win against the All Blacks at that point. It had been three or four years, if I'm not mistaken, uh, since we had beaten them. I think 2011 may have been the last time. This has the potential, regardless of the rugby championship log, to have all the same ingredients. This is the tests during the year that everyone wanted to be a part of and everyone wanted to play in. And it was the tests that meant the most. Beating the All Blacks 2014 was no different. Here come the box. 45 matches played by the Springboks here at Ellis Park. 31 wins, 12 losses, 2 draws as the Springboks prepare to face the Haka. Facing the Haka, which is a surreal experience and we're quite intimidating, especially as a youngster. But there's a huge amount of respect from a Springbok to an All Black and vice versa. We like to think that it's their biggest challenge of the year too when they play against the Springboks. The challenge issued and well and truly accepted. The All Blacks coming into that match were on a 22 match unbeaten streak and having performed well against them away, I think there was a bit more confidence when we were in South Africa and a full house at Ellis Park in front of the All Blacks is, is the epitome of Test Match Rugby in South Africa and if, we, if ever we are to beat the All Blacks, that's, that's the place to do it. Last had the whistle for a Springbok test in Paris at the end of 2013. Hendrik Pollard kicks off to signal the start of the 89th test match between South Africa and New Zealand. The game plan that day was to try and play what we saw in front of us. The chip kick through bounces well off for Hendricks and then Serpentay. I mean, I just have visions of Francois Hochart try. Pollard's tries. Pollard takes it to the line again. Takes it on and scores! First test try for young Andre Pollard. What a year it's been for Andre Pollard as he adds the conversion to his own try. As a playing group, you always know that it's going to, you know, the game's going to be in the balance in the last 10 minutes. It's going to come down to the wire. And finally, Pat Lambie at Plaha. How good was he last weekend against Wait, Australia? So whether you're slightly up on the scoreboard or slightly down, you've got to believe that you can pull through and, and win the game. The Springboks need to manufacture a score. In those last 10 minutes, I think we did up the ante a little bit. And, you know, it was a case of getting into their half or close to it and squeezing out a penalty or perhaps uh, yeah, forcing an error on their behalf and capitalising on it. I think I was just behind Skulk, just the, uh, the attacking shape, part of three forwards with a playmaker just behind who can call for the ball at any time. So the play actually continued um, quite far up thereafter. We were actually up on the All Blacks 22 when play stopped. And the scrum going away on the All Blacks. And they showed a replay of that hit on the big screen, which actually caught the ref's eye. And then the ref went back to that incident. Barnes has made a decision here. Let's just have a look. There's the tackle on Coles. Oh, dear, oh dear. Well, Liam Messer was on the receiving end of one of those. I can see that um, he's kind of falling a little, but he has made contact with the head, and it's about. 55 metres out. I remember thinking, Sheesh, well that's a relief because a penalty slap bang in front of the post on the 22 is like you should do it with your eyes closed and if you miss, you are just doomed, you, you, you're a goner. When he actually put his arm up and said, right, this is the mark, penalty to the spring box. A penalty inside your own half, you know, also slap bang in front, but I mean it's, you know, 50 odd metres out. You can be forgiven, I think, if it doesn't go over. Patrick Lambie from 55 metres out to take the lead for South Africa. What drama. The crowd will kill you. Got it! You know, that, that evening was a perfect evening, not a breath of wind, and at altitude, um, you know, all you have to do is, is get a good strike on the ball and it travels true, truly. Under the most intense pressure, Patrick Lambie nails it! As a kicker, you, you simulate 
kicks to win a match and then to actually find yourself in that position uh, is the best, best feeling. Patrick Landy kicks it high into the stands. How fitting that in the 80th minute he should be the man who affects the turnover to win the game for South Africa. The Springboks have defeated the All Blacks. So the celebrations after the game were, were quite something. It was obviously the last match of the rugby championship and so everyone was going back to their, to their clubs and to their franchises the following week. The players went into the team room and, and really celebrated. But then also you know, the exuberance and excitement of, after beating the All Blacks. For a lot of those other players in the group, it would have been the first time they'd ever done that. Yeah, the, the celebrations went on you know, um, into the early hours of the morning um, and rightly so.